this music video reaction time. Oh, yeah. Oh, today we got a first. The first, first time we're reacting to a Vietnamese idol. Ooh. Oh, that's right. His name is Shun Do. Shun Do. And he's singing a song called Her Chow Ch oh, I already messed it up. Or right, how do you pronounce it again? How do you Hi Chow Chang? I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. If you're Vietnamese, please let us know how we can get that pronunciation just right. Now, the only reason I even know this song is hot, hot, hot. Because it's trending on YouTube in the United States. Really? Yeah. Right now. Right, right now, now. now. It's trending like number four. A Vietnamese song. A Vietnamese idol trend in the United States. Wow. Look at that. I mean, this thing is blowing up. And it's not just the U.S. He's trending like in a bunch of countries around the world, like in the top ten. That's amazing. It actually feels like... I'm proud. Yeah. I know. And I'm not even Vietnamese. <laughs> exactly. Asian artists are getting known all over the world. That's awesome. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know if there's something about the YouTube algorithm that decided to push it up. It is a song that is sung entirely in Vietnamese for an artist that I guarantee you most everyone in the United States, unless you're Vietnamese, has never heard of. That being said, he does have Snoop Dogg in there doing some of the rap, you know, there in the chorus. So that might be one reason why he's able to have some crossover appeal and probably why it's helped him bump it up. But we're not giving Snoop Dogg all the credit. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited to see the style, his look. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to bet he's born with good looks because <laughs> you can't be compared to K-pop <laughs> idols unless you got the looks. The John look. <laughs> really? Thank you very much. That's this is what an idol looks like right here. All right, right. Let's check this out. And away we go. Well, he's already flexing right here. Oh, I like that already. Oh, and then he's wow. got Latino ladies yes. in here? <laughs> what the hell? Wow. Got like Latino flavors in uh -huh. this. Yikes, that felt like south of Havana. Huh? <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't know anything about languages and the way they spoke, I would never have thought this was a Vietnamese, this is Vietnamese song. Yeah. This guy is big, and I just looked him up, and clearly he's got a huge following in Vietnam. He's, he's called the Prince of V-Pop, wow. and he's really talented. He's been singing, and he's performing since he's like a wee lad at eight years old. What? Yeah. So it's definitely part of what he is, and he continues to create music. <laughs> All right, he already knows what American audiences I love. I know, right? Hotties in a pool. That's my favorite. <laughs> and riches. First of all, that's not how you drive. <laughs> Second, whoever is driving is lost as hell. <laughs> that's Mojave Desert. That looks like the Mojave Desert. <laughs> He's wearing a Steelers jacket. <laughs> 
bougie, it's about that time. We can smoke a blunt and pop a bottle of wine. Now get yourself together and be ready by nine. Cause we're gonna do some things that'll shatter your spine. Come on, undone. Snoop Dogg. Okay, how come it's Snoop Dogg? <laughs> Snoop Dogg has become one of those rappers that if you want to blow up, you got to put him in. Whether it's the Pussycat Dolls, whether it's this guy, he, like, people like put him in because he's become so worldwide well known. Sun Tongue, Long Beach is the city that I come from. So if you want some, get some, bad enough, take some, take some. However, I will say Snoop Dogg's verses in this are kind of weak sauce. It, yes, the lyrics is I like, mean, like, what? It's like he put them all together while on a plane ride to Vietnam type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, I'm Snoop Dogg. You're Sung Tung. Here's some Gucci. And the two other things he's going to rap about, drinking and weed. And then he talks about where he's from, Long Beach. He doesn't give any credit to the music artists. He doesn't talk about, I'm all international now. Right. Like there's things that you can do, Snoop Dogg. Like meaningful. Yeah, that felt like it was kind of part of the song versus it was just, I'm just gonna rap about the Smoke. five things that I always rap about. It doesn't matter if it's this song or another song. It's like, just buy a Snoop Dogg lyric for a million dollars and plop it into your song. Right, I was disappointed with the lyrics. That being said, at the end of the day, if Snoop Dogg has helped him get international fame, then more power to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The fact is that most hip hop artists would never even think about doing something like this with a Vietnamese artist. So I give Snoop Dogg credit for being one of the artists who is willing to go out and collab with people that you never would have thought. Oh, I love that beat. Ladies dancing around him. I know. He's very <laughs> separated from the yes, ladies, you know? Yes. Because he decided to go with this idea, you kind of expect that girls will be dancing around him, right? Mm hmm. Oh, okay, that's close. maybe not. That's oh, close. Oh, but he didn't kiss her. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna do that. So we noticed during the music production, there is no girls dancing around him. Yeah, a little unusual. Because I can guarantee you, if this was an American music video, or one that's Latino flavored, the guys and girls are grinding. That's the word. It's Grinding. one step away from needing to make it a rated X movie type of thing, right? Because it's very sensual. And this kind of song, honestly, has a very sensual feel to it. But he's very detached from it. So I don't know if this is a deliberate way of wanting to tell the story or if there are cultural aspects to it. Hey, if you're familiar with this music or even Vietnamese culture, please fill us in. We love to be able to understand some of that dynamic. And the only reason we think this is because we watch a lot of K-pop videos it's very rare to see guys and girls interact in a very sensual way mm -hmm. in the videos. And that's because it's a more conservative society when it comes to relationships. Now, because it's blowing up in the U.S. and because of the Latino flavor in the music, it's interesting to see. It almost makes it more pronounced mm -hmm. by not seeing them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's right. We gotta do that. <laughs> Oh, 
I think literally the only other dude in this video is Snoop Dogg. <laughs> no, there's another one, the dancer. Oh, that's right, the guy in the beginning, right? Yes. In the desert? Yeah, he was good. And first of all, I'm so impressed! Wow! Amazing! I love the production. He got to get the looks, the fashion. Ooh. Oh, he definitely had a checklist of these are the things I got to do to get me international fame. <laughs> I got it. Number one, get me that Gucci, give me that Versace. <laughs> Number two, I got to have me ladies, but of all the international yes. flavors of the world. And the booty mm -hmm. and the look. That's right. Yeah. And number three, I gotta have Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Okay. <laughs>